Hey everyone, my name is Pritam and you're watching Tech with Pri. Welcome to my channel and I'm back with another tech video. Now this is the 17th video of our newly created technical series called ServiceNow. So in my last video, we have understood the different ServiceNow field types that we have, uh, like string, choice and different uh, field types. And we have also analyzed uh, the field types which are present in the incident form. And we have seen like how different uh, fields like category, subcategory, and very importantly, reference field like caller, how it is working. And we have also created choice fields, uh, custom fields in the incident form to show you how uh, ServiceNow fields are working, right? So if you missed that video, guys, I suggest you to watch that video. Don't worry, I'm gonna put the link in the description. Also, you can find the link right now here on your screen. All right, so let's see what we are going to learn from today's video. Okay, so today we are going to learn about table relationships and schema map, which is very, very, very important concept, guys. This is also very important for the exam and for also for you to understand how, how different ServiceNow tables have the relationship with each other and how with the help of the schema map, how you can watch this, right? So make sure you watch the full video, guys, to understand this concept because these concepts are very important again to understand the later video so make sure you are not skipping any part right and also like this is a series going on so if you if you want to learn in service now about service now table this particular section we are covering about service now table relationship fields and also about custom table so make sure you are watching from the beginning like what is table the first video then the field and field types and then you come to the relationships and schema map okay that's how you should process okay so let's start so what is table relationship so like i said in service now we have different tables and in different table they have relationship with each other so that they are you know kind of a connected with each other and we are going to discuss about those relationship so first one is the one to many relationship which is very important here one table has a field which referencing to other table and we already know this and the example, if you see caller field in incident table. So the caller field in incident table, we, we, see, we have seen that in the last video also. The caller field is actually referencing from the user table, right? So this is the one to many relationship example. So one user may have multiple incident. So this is a one to many relationship. Next, we will know about the many to many relationship, which is also important. So where two or more table is related to one, one another right so if i take the example of group and the roles table i know that we have not covered about roles table and uh, you know the group table but just for understanding those are the two tables i'll show you right now and finally extended relationship where one or more table can extend it from another table this is also another very important concept for an example like incident change and problem tables these has extended from the task table that means if i extend from another table that means all the fields in the table i can access in my form now to understand all this relationship in a better way let's go to my service now private instance and let's show you and let me explain you in a better way okay so right now i am in my service now personal developer instance guys so first to for the one to many relationship i'm gonna the field i'm gonna show you is the incident table so incident dot form I'll open the form view of incident. Now here you can see this is the caller field. Also in last video you have seen, I have shown you if I go to the right click and configure dictionary, you have found out that this field is a reference field. You can see type of the field is reference. The name of the field is column, caller, the label of the field and name is caller underscore ID. And if I go down here, reference specification, you can see that it is referencing from user table right this is the example of one to many relationship okay now many to many relationships so i will open the uh, groups table so if i go down here we have the group table here groups so this is the group table guys and now if i open any of the groups like for an example analytics settings manager now you will find there is a role associated with it right okay so in another way, for an example, a group can contain multiple roles. Okay, you can see we have one role here. We can add more role by going to the edit option. And also a role can contain or can be assigned in a multiple group. 
so in this way they are you know many to many relationships so i hope the concept is clear now the extend relationship like i said so if i go to the first let's go to the task table so i'll go to the task dot list so from here if i go to the table so this is the task table you can see the name of the table is the task and here you can see task table has 70 different columns that is available like contact type contract closed by closed okay so now in a, another tab let me duplicate this tab first and i will open the incident table and if i will see that if i can extend the all the fields of the task table right incident dot list now from here i will open the configure and the table view and you can see it is extends from task table right it is extends from task table now if i go down and i will open the form view of the incident right you know with this uh, view now if i go to the configure and form layout now you can see we have different fields that is coming from task table now let's see let's prove it now we have the active field so active is a field from task table which is extended by the incident table so we have the active field it is coming from the task table why because incident field is extending from task table so that's how the relationship work so let's go back to the ppt we will now we will go to the table types so what are the different table types we have now first we have the base table base table means the table which is not extended from any table but extends by other table so one example like we have seen uh, the incident table which is extended from the task table so no so that means incident table is not a base table right because it is extended from task table now base table is the table which is not extended from any table now how we can find that so i'll show you first see the example we have the task table now go to the service now and from all section i will go to the table section and under tables i'll click on tables here and these are the list of the table now you can see we have a field here called extends table or extensible now here if you can see extends table so uh, you can see the name of the extends table is mentioned and also empty means uh, this table for an example meet server file this table is not extend from any other table and extensible means if the table is extendable or if extending by other table now to understand this let me let me go to the task table first now if i go to the task table the name of the table should be task now here you can see task table is not extends from any other table so that means it is a base table and extensible is true that means it is extending task table is extended by many different tables like incident problem change okay now if i filter it and click on show matching so that means okay the name is task so let's now these are the table you can see 1749 table are there which is not extended by any other table okay now if i type here true now we have 87 table which is not extended from any other table okay these are the base table and which is extended by different tables again the example can be task table is a base table which does not extends from any other table but incident problem change these are the table who extends the task table right i hope the concept is clear now guys now next we have the extended table again we have learned about extended table a table which is extended from another table that is the incident table also change problem table we have now if i want to see let's click on all here now i want to see the tables which is extended from task table so if i go to the extend table and i'll click i'll type task now you can see we have the incident table we have the change table we have different many table like 46 tables are there task so i want to see only task not template task any other so i can see 43 tables are there okay 43 tables are there which is extending the task table that means this table like change request table is extending the task table that means using different fields of task table in the change request table okay we have the code table now code table means very simple the table that is that is being created by service now so once you get the service 
so these table will be created inside of service now like incident problem change all those tables are the code tables and also task table change and users knowledge there are so many different tables are there which is created by service now itself so these are not the custom table so these are the code table the table created by service now now custom table is the table that you will create or the administrator or the developer create inside of service now now we will create custom table in our next video and i'll show you uh, how you can create your own table and we'll create different fields interesting right all right so these are the custom tables now we have parent table and child table again i hope the concept is already clear for you let's understand in a visual way now task table it is so task table is extended by many table like incident problem for change we have seen 43 tables are there okay let's three now these three tables are main table so these are the parent table task table is a parent table and incident problem change are the child table because it extends from the task table so field different fields we have seen in incident problem change which is extends from task table so these are the child table and task table is a parent table now before understanding schema map let's understand different let's see what are the different tables important tables we have task table we have already know about it incident problem we have user table where user information is stored you know already we have role table that we will learn in later videos knowledge table we have service catalog table configuration item configuration item table and many more okay so these are the few important tables and also in the right hand side in the bracket you can see the name of the table is also mentioned right now let's understand very important concept which is the schema map now all the relationship that we have learned different relationship in a tables and also you know different types of table now we will understand the concept with the help of a with the example of a visual map or visual understanding whatever you say so to access schema map or to see schema map you need to go to the table and column section so i uh, will go down here tables and columns you can see now in this section you can see all the different columns of a particular table now if i click any of the table let's go to the incident table the table which we are working for a long time so now incident table you can see all these are the different field of incident table right and if i click on any of the field for an example duration field now we can see the attributes of different fields here and now if i go down here you can see there is an option called schema map also we have edit table we can edit the table delete record stuff create table create application browse application all these options are there also we can create index in a particular table to search in a better way now let's go to the schema map and you will understand how interesting it is so now this is the incident table and this is the schema map and you can see on the top we have different different labels where it is showing different type of tables now i will click all other reference tables let's uncheck extend tables so let's see first extending table so so is there any table which is extending incident table no there is no table so that's why there is no map available okay i will uncheck this again now i want to see what are the extended tables so incident table is extended by task table we know so you can see when i click on the extended table show extended table it is showing the task table so that means incident table is extended from the task table and we know that already now i will again remove the extended table option now i will want to know the referencing tables so what are the referencing table so referencing table is the incident task table that means in the incident task table incident field is using as a reference field so let's see so let's see if it is true or not so incident underscore task so i will search for it incident underscore task dot list so if i go to the incident task table if i create a new record i can see the incident table is there so from search i can choose any of the list of the incident that is there in the incident table and i can choose any of the incident so now if i go back now incident task is a referencing table where the value of incident is used as a reference so incident is referencing in the incident task table right there is a referencing tables so let's remove that and now reference tables which is important now you can see these are the tables which is referenced inside of the incident table like user table we know we are using already reference as a reference field uh, the column uh, the caller field also we have different uh, tables these are the tables 
So refer in reference relationship, like we have for the user table, we have the from the problem table, from the task table. So that means we are using reference of these tables in our incident table, right? So now I hope you understand the schema map, which is very, very important guys. And I hope now you will find, you won't stop here and you will go to table and schema map and you can, you can go to the table and columns and you can search for any tables that you want to see to understand those fields like referencing, extend, extending all this concept in a great way. Right guys. So make sure you practice it. This is it for today, guys. In the next video, I'll show you how you can create your own custom table, how we will, how we can add different fields and how it works, right? If you like the video, guys, hit the like button. If you have any doubt, any question, come to the comment section. Also, don't forget to share with your friends and family so that it can reach out to many people. See you in my next video. Bye-bye. Take care.